Michael Lenzi and in this tutorial I will show you some basic features of GoAnimate. Once you have signed up, you are ready to create your first video. Go ahead and click on the Make a Video button and you will get to this screen here. You will have to go through a quick tutorial once you uh, click on Make a Movie. Um, and you cannot opt out of that, so go ahead and go through that first and then come back to this tutorial because I will step you through less features at once making sure you understand the basics. From your screen you can access the video makers and the character creator. All the way on the bottom is the character creator. I discourage students from creating their own characters because often accessories and such cost go bucks. Go bucks means real money. Uh, there is no warning that when you try to save the video in the end you will only be able to do so if you pay for the character customizations. Right above the character creator are your video makers. On the right side is the full video maker which is the one that I would suggest to you. Go ahead and click on the browse all which will take you to all of the themes that are available. So here are the different themes that are available with the free account. The dark shaded themes are not free, so let's pick a free theme, and I like cartoon classics. This takes a little while to load. You may want to take the time and X out the latest releases here on the right hand side because you do not want to spend any extra money. There we go. And here is your work area. Uh, right here is the active frame uh, that you are working with. This is where each scene is defined. Once you are finished with a scene, you will add another scene by pressing the plus symbol right here. And as you are adding scenes, you will see them displayed in the timeline right here. This is your timeline. To edit a particular scene, you just click on the scene and it will appear in your active frame area. Over here on the left side uh, you will find all the customizations that you are going to need. So let's start by choosing a different scene. A bar scene may not be such a great backdrop for an educational setting. So go ahead and click on uh, this on the scene on the backdrop tab right here. Okay and you will see all the scenes that are available to you. Again, stay away from anything that has GoBuck coins unless you are willing to pay. And the GoBuck coin scenes are further down. Yeah, they're further down, like right here. Okay, so you might want to stay away from that. All right, let's go pick a free scene. Here's a nice playground scene. Um, that might be appropriate for us. Uh, next, we're going to put characters in our scene. Click on the character tab right here on the right hand side on the left hand side and pick your character or your characters. Uh, the ones uh, the characters with the little blue running uh, stick figures um, these are called uh, go points. Uh, you can earn go points with different activities and you can see how many go points you have by looking on your home page at the top. Let's take a look at my home page at the top right here. These are my gold points. I have 292 right now. If you don't have any yet, stay away from from those. And even I am going to pick um, two free characters. I'm going to pick the little boy and the little girl and to make her move so she doesn't sit on top of him. I'm just going to click and drag her wherever I want her. Okay. So now that we have the scene and the characters we will let them talk through speech bubbles. So go ahead and click on the speech bubble tab right here. Pick the speech bubble you like and click on it. Okay, as you're clicking on it, you see there's a window that opens up here. This is where you're going to, where you're going to write. And here are the speech bubbles in here. Okay, we're going to let the little girl talk first. We're going to click and drag the speech bubble in, in the uh, way so it's out of the character's way. We're going to drag, click and drag this uh, dot here to make her speak. 
and then we're gonna say hello my name is Eva what is your name and you can see as I'm typing here the speech bubble is being filled in to close any of these windows here always click on the triangle here okay there we go so let's pick a second uh, uh, speech bubble but before we do that only one person should talk per scene so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a new scene so click add and all that does it recreates the backdrop and the people as they were in the scene before and it allows you to add another speech bubble so there we go adding another speech bubble and this one is for the boy so let's move that here and then click and drag um, to make it point towards the boy and then the little boy says my name is Ryan nice to meet you okay and we're done with that we are finished with our first two scenes now now let's take a look at what they look like and we can do that by clicking on preview we have to wait a little bit until it loads and there it is All right. So this is what our little mini movie looks like. Let's replay it one more time. Hello, my name is Eva. What is your name? My name is Ryan. Nice to meet you. From here we can now say, okay, I like it the way it is. This is the end of my movie. Or we can say, no, we need to add some more things or we need to make the scenes longer or shorter. And we go back to editing. So these were the basics. Stay tuned for more features in the next video.